it is 3 a.m. There's my notes. Let's get on with this review. Uh, Detroit lost to the unbeaten Florida Panthers, but it was a great game. Only ended in overtime. I'll just go for the goals. I can't see through these shades. Um, they win the face off. They take a shot from the face off. Not direct like Mario Lemieux. You know, pass it out, takes a shot, and it's deflected in by somebody called. Lusterainen or something, I might have butchered that, apologies if I have, but I doubt he's watching. That's Florida 1-0 up. Then Barkov uh, pokes the puck over the line after Declare tries to bank it in off Nelkovic. I thought it was goalie interference or something like that, but it goes stood. I was a bit iffy about it. Then it goes 2-0, so it uh, goes to intermission. I watch a bit of the intermission with Torts talking. No Mickey Redmond or Ken Daniels, the game's on ESPN Plus. Well, it was on NHL Network, but it was the ESPN Plus broadcast I'm using. I uh, can't remember the commentator's name. It was a man and a lady with a lady at the uh, rink side as well. Um, I go on YouTube, and if I see Friday I'm in love or Boys Don't Cry, I've got to watch them. So I go down a cure rabbit hole. By the time I remember the hockey's back on, we've scored. So on the intermission, I went on to the highlights section on NHL TV. Turns out Sam Garnier scored. He deflects a Stetcher shot in. No, I say a shot. I'm hoping it wasn't a shot. Because Stetcher hit it closer to the, the bench and the goal. But anyway, Garnier deflects in. It's 2-1. Then uh, Pia Suta scores his first goal for us. He deflects in a Mo Sider shot. Robbie Fabry gets in his puck, the puck because it's his first Red Wings goal. And then in OT, uh, Barkov wins it, so that's it, 3-2. So we don't stop the Florida juggernaut, and just on a flop, put these back on now for a cool factor. Uh, on a Florida note, they are three wins away from history. They are 8-0, the seventh team to go 8-0. The record is 10-0. He didn't say it was, I would guess at Edmonton or maybe the 80s Islanders teams or the early 80s Islanders teams. They've got a win at Boston and then at home to Washington and Carolina, also unbeaten, to uh, set the record, which is Florida setting the NHL record. What is that about? A couple of notes from the game. Again, I can't see. Oh, yeah, there's an end to end bit where Batuzzi, you know what? Where Batuzzi had a shot, they. You know, defend it. It goes to Huberto. He goes down the other. What the? He goes down the other end and shoots. He misses. Larkin ends up with it down the other end. It was just end to end. There's another crazy bit where we block three shots in quick succession. I think Fabry blocked two, only one, and then just a crazy goal mouth scramble. It's kind of hockey. It's you know, it's like oh, edge of your seat fun. Yeah, we would have won it. If it wasn't for Bobrovsky, who played like his Columbus Fest in the days, he was just outstanding. Um, it's nice to see us not crumbling. We were down 2-1, you know, and we were still in it. We had that spirit. A couple of seasons ago, even last year, we'd have just been, we're not going to win this. There's a belief in this team now, and I really like to see that, putting these back on again. Um, Sider played 30 minutes, and there's a lot of trust in the guy already. And that's pretty much it. Great game, though. We're on to Toronto tomorrow without Bertuzzi because of the injection. He's not having it. Um, Toronto didn't play today, so they're probably going to steamroll us. But you know what? After this performance, I don't mind. It was just, it's just so great to see a bit of belief in the guys. Now I'm off to watch um, Ottawa v Dallas because the Vegas versus Anaheim game is blacked out on NHL TV here in Britain. It must be on Premier Sports. Or Premier Sports 2, I don't know, don't care. I could try and stream the game, but I'm not making that much effort for Anaheim or Vegas for that matter. I only like Vegas, I didn't even like them, because of Flower. I don't have to do that now, so I'm not going to watch that. So it's on to Ottawa Dallas. Um, so good luck, Red Wings. Let's go, Red Wings, tomorrow. It's just so good. And uh, Jonathan Huberdo, it will now be Huber of Water. Because I have nothing but a good nickname. Who would have water? Let's go Red Wings. And good luck Florida. See if you can hit a record. I don't mind you guys. Let's go Red Wings. Whee.